known as yesterday's flight by Major Conway. Major Frank Sissy Conway. Boy, I'm not going to ask him how he got the call sign Sissy either. All right, he lifts off effortlessly as he brings the airplane up quickly. being spun by the jet turbine engine. The nacelles are not being programmed, as you can see, to the full forward position. The Osprey can transition from helicopter to airplane in less than 12 seconds. The Osprey can cruise straight and level in, in speeds in excess of 250 knots. The pilot controls the nacelle angle with a simple thumb wheel and the thrust control lever with his left hand. The nacelles can be rotated upward or downward at a rate of eight degrees per second, allowing for dramatic airspeed and altitude changes. In the airplane road now, the Osprey is on, his downwind, uh, on a downwind leg. It is twice as fast and 75% quieter than a conventional helicopter, significantly reducing the enemy's chances of successfully engaging the Osprey from the ground. Triple redundant flight controls and the ability to power both propellers with a single engine, also increased combat viability and survivability. Now he makes his turn on the final. It's equipped with the transport 24 combat loaded Marines, and it's manned by two pilots and one crew chief. The airplane's maximum takeoff gross weight is 57,000 pounds. Now you watch as the V-22 demonstrates the short takeoff and landing capabilities as Major Conway executes a running landing to a short takeoff. Note the aircraft's rapid climb up after he comes to a touchdown. Now you'll see the nacelle being tilted clear back to pass 90 to about 97 degrees. tilting forward again. Oh wow, isn't that fantastic? Well there you see that 5,000 minute uh, climb rate. And we see the rotors again, the nacelles, as they streamline themselves now to straight and level flight. That is a lot of propeller. Wow. Now after passing down the runway in the airplane mode, Major Conway will bank 60 degrees and reverse course for downwind. The V-22 provides combat pilots with an unparalleled range of options for approaching a landing zone from high altitude or low altitude. The spiral approach will be employed for lower threat environments, whereas a high speed straight in approach is employed to surprise enemies and minimize exposure to higher threat environments. He is really clipping along out there down on that on that downwind, on the back on the downwind to final. Now when he makes his turn to final during the approach, 
You will note how the pilot is able to keep the aircraft at a constant altitude and controls the speed with the angle of the nacelles alone. Something no helicopter can do. In a tactical environment, this allows the pilot to visualize the landing zone during the entire approach to ground. It also provides for a quicker deacceleration. Now he comes around the corner. You see the nacelles now are turned. He's cranked him almost up into the helicopter mode, but not quite. Now please notice the nacelles as they rotate upwards, as he has them now to the 90 degree helicopter mode position. As the pilot brings the Osprey into a hover and will bow to the crowd. And when he bows to the crowd, I want to see hands waving out there, hats waving, programs waving, everything that you can win for this magnificent new addition to the Marine Corps airplane fleet, the V-MV-22 Osprey.